people of Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and thank you for attending my TED Talk on the evolution of armadillo lizards by yours truly, Dr. J. Weil. The armadillo lizard, a small, cute, but far from cuddly reptile that often dwells in sandy deserts. You may be thinking, why is this doctor doing a presentation on a small, insignificant lizard? Well, that is in fact because this lizard has very interesting origins. In fact, these lizards are descended from the once mighty dragons. You may be thinking, dragons, they're not real. I'll get back to you on that. But first, let me show you some similarities between the two. As you can see, armadillo lizards share the same hard, armor-like scales that their dragon ancestors had, as well as flexible, spiny tails often used in combat. They also both tend to have very triangular faces and have talons on the ends of their feet or claws. Now, getting back to dragons. Dragons, you may think, are mythical. However, there are records of them throughout the history all over the globe. The image on the left depicts what was most likely European depictions of dragons. Large beasts with wings and uh, scaly armor that breathe fire and tend to be harbingers of death, burning down villages, pillaging for gold, etc. On the right, we have what is a common depiction of Asian dragons. These dragons were seen more as creatures of great power, bringing luck and wealth to those who had the blessing to meet them. This image here is a dragon anatomy chart recovered from Nordic ruins of the Viking times. As you can see here, it is a clearly labeled anatomy chart with the spiny tail, scales, triangular face, claws, and large leathery wings of most European dragon depictions. However, as time went on, dragons were hunted by humans for various reasons, whether because they were predatory and needed to be dealt with in order for human survival, or for things like their claws, wings, scales, etc., because those were high-value trade commodities. As time went on, dragons needed to evolve to survive. This image here is a fairly good in-between stage between the previous image of large, powerful dragons and our small armadillo lizard. As you can see with this image, the dragon's main change is their significant decrease in size. Also of note, though, are their smaller, more grabby-like talons, or hands, I suppose, and their less tall faces and more flat, wide, triangular ones, similar to the armadillo lizard. Now, as we see here, the armadillo lizard. This lizard still maintains the spiny tail and armor-like scales of its dragon ancestors, but is significantly smaller, and the most major change is their far more muted color palette to be able to blend in with the desert and hide from predators, as this lizard is no longer a large predatory dragon, but now a small prey lizard. Thank you for attending my TED Talk. I'm hoping you may believe in the mythical slightly more after this.